Be open-minded. Have compassion for others. These are two phrases that my parents have repeated to me for as long as I can remember. Phrases that have shaped the way I look at the world and ultimately tied many of my most significant and meaningful life experiences together. Hi, my name is Carter and I'm a senior from Richmond, Virginia at the University of the South. I have a major in politics with minors in French and Spanish. To me, having an open mind means welcoming new experiences and being receptive to and accepting of opinions, worldviews, and lifestyles that differ from my own. Compassion for others, in my opinion, builds upon the quality of having an open mind. More than an acceptance of others, it has to do with empathy and respect for those around you. My parents made sure I was aware of both of these attitudes, as well as exposed to an array of uncommon and sometimes difficult experiences in order to practice them as I grew up. Beginning at a young age, the importance of learning a second language was apparent in our household. Instead of performing normal household chores, such as taking out the trash or walking the dog, my chores consisted of dedicating an hour to my Spanish studies every day. Additionally, rather than being sent to time out in my room when I misbehaved, I was sent to find a country on our world map in the basement. This was quite the punishment for me as a six-year-old girl. Countries such as Indonesia or Angola were foreign and obscure concepts to me, and not to mention impo impossible to find on the huge map. Little did I know, these seemingly odd tasks were only the beginning of an upbringing that was less than conventional. It paved the way for a foundation of thought that my parents wanted to impress upon me and my sister. They wanted to provide us a life rich in opportunity, but rich in a wide array of d diverse experiences that gave me and my sister perspective into the lives different from our own. When I was 10, my mother, sister, and I went to live with a family in Costa Rica for six weeks in an underprivileged neighborhood. The house we stayed in had dirt floors, no hot water, and both of which shocked me at first. Yet as weeks passed, I became unfazed by the lack of amenities. When I was 11, a young lady from Colombia, Floris, who spoke no English, came to live with us. Again, my parents' goal was to expose us to different people with different cultures from our own. When Glories first arrived, I was unsure and untrusting of her odd habits. She cooked strange foods, and I didn't understand what she said. On top of that, my hour dedicated to learning Spanish every day was doubled. Yet the more time I spent with her and the more countries I found on the world map in our basement, the more accepting and understanding I became of her culture, her language, and of her in general. Before I knew it, Glories had become the older sister I never had, and the fact that none of my friends could understand our secret conversations became an advantage rather than an embarrassment to me. At age 12, my parents uprooted our family and we moved to Buenos Aires, Argentina. We had no ties to the country, and although we had practice in the language, the cultural barrier proved much stronger than we had anticipated. This was the most unfamiliar and uncommon thing yet, even for the unconventional Ware household. It wasn't always easy, but I was beginning to get a hang of what it felt like to be an outsider and understand why my parents believed that open-mindedness and compassion were so important. This prepared me for my work at the Canali Internship Program at Swanee. My dedication to compassion for others was what initially sparked my interest in volunteering along with other Bonner and Canales at Swanee beginning my junior year. I became involved with the Canales working at South Pittsburgh Middle School, volunteering to carry out a young girls empowerment program called CORE. Spending time with these girls who, although they lived only 20 minutes outside of my sheltered mountain, had entirely different lives and experiences than mine. After two years engrossed in my Swanee bubble, these girls were a wake up call for me and my college experience, and ultimately the reason I decided to become a Canali my senior year. My Canali internship as a senior is with Legal Aid Society of Middle Tennessee in the Cumberlands. Legal Aid is Tennessee's largest nonprofit law firm and works to defend the legal rights of low income people. Much of the work that I do deals with people who come from an array of backgrounds, and many are Spanish speaking. A typical day for me at Legal Aid includes meeting with clients, acting as an interpreter, and translating legal documents, going to court, and performing administrative tasks. It has been a satisfying experience to engage with a community right outside of Swanee, one which I would not have otherwise met. While clients may seek out legal aid because they need help, they also help me to become a more well-rounded and empathetic member of society. Their experiences enrich and broaden my worldview and instill in me greater compassion. 
and this enables me to continue practicing the values that I grew up with.